I guess this year is a little bit curlier than yours. Do you know the name of it? Oh, his name is Alexander. And the terrible, horrible, no good, very Ooh. bad day. She snaps at Susie with her little reindeer. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now it's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell that it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And the Lord. Breakfast. Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the car, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being squirted. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be sick. Nobody even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. He did not anything. He did it. He says it's an invisible castle. But we all know he didn't draw anything. Because it is a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad picture. But he didn't draw even. Not even a dot. Not even a dot. Sometimes he's his own worst enemy, huh? At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who leaves 16? I could tell it was going to be horrible. Terrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. One, two, three. So here's... Paul, here's his first best friend, here's his second best friend, there's his third best friend. That's not a great place to be, is it? Nope. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream falls off the cone and lands in Australia. That won't happen. No, not really. But something you could wish for. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar for almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? Yeah. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Man. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist. And Dr. Fields found a cavity it just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. I himself. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, 
And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud. And Nick said I was a crybaby. Crybaby? No. He says that Alexander is a crybaby. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and for fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. 